Hello everyone and welcome to a Swood Design Video Tech Tip. Today we'll be making the cabinet that you see there with Swood Design, an add-in for SolidWorks that helps people who are in the woodworking industry streamline their process. You'll see inside of the software a frame is a SolidWorks assembly file, but it uses a special Swood template with a few extra planes involved. A SWOOD box is a SOLIDWORKS assembly file that is meant to be reused and easily resized with drag and drop insertion into your cabinet. So think of things that you do all the time like adding shelves or drawers in a model. Well, you can drag and drop those in now. Also, there's a connector library within the SWOOD design app that allows us to drag and drop connectors and their machining in that easily. We'll demo all of this today. We'll make the cabinet that you see here. Here's our initial template. You can see there's a few extra planes to act as the sides of the cabinet. My SWOOD design tab allows me to create panels in this assembly and position them like so. I can add a bottom panel in and lock it down like this. I can add a left panel in and attach it to the top of the bottom panel and then lock it down. I can add a right panel and attach it to the top of the bottom panel and then lock it down. I can add a little kickboard in the front and attach it to the bottom of the bottom panel and maybe pull it in just a little bit and then lock it the rest of the way down. And I'll even rename that one kickboard. And when I hit the green check here, it's going to make panels inside of SolidWorks in this assembly file for us. And we can ignore all those extra planes for the time being. I just need to tell it how high the bottom is off of the floor with a distance mate here. 4.5 inches, let's say. And I just need to tell it how far the kickboard is in from the front plane let's say 2.5 inches and now I can use my SWOOD design tab on the side and go and add a material to all of these things maybe we make all the panels apple wood and we'll add some connectors in where everything comes together. So if I go into my training file here, I have some cam and dowel fasteners. You can just drag and drop those in the model when you release. It adds the machining and the fasteners in very easily. This is something that could have been painstaking before, but now you can see I can just drag and drop. Oh, I can change the way they come in there and hit tab. And I can drag and drop some more in here. Maybe hit tab so they break out of the back. We've added connectors into this model. Now I'm going to use SWOOD boxes to do all of the rest. In my SWOOD box area of the library, I can add stringers across the top. I even have those so they bring in the, the dowels and the machining for the dowels whenever they come in. And I can add a back to the model. In fact, I'm just going to pin that open for a second. I can add a back panel to the model just by a drag and drop insertion. It even cuts the notch all the way around for the back panel. I can add some legs into the model just by dragging and dropping those in like so. And they even scripted into this leg box that they, there should be an extra leg. If I hover over here, it says additional leg advisable. If I click and edit that feature, I can add an additional leg in, and you can see it even adds all the machining in for those just that easily. And I can add all of my drawers 
just by a drag and a drop. Just like so. And if I hit the green check here, we're done with this entire cabinet. Now we could use this in any size of kitchen. And I'll have a video tech tip series that shows how you can resize these and output the cam code for these as well. So thank you very much for watching.